Hey guys, welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So today I'm coming at you with a tutorial on how to record your iOS device screen on your computer using QuickTime. So you gotta have the new uh, operating system, which is Mac OS X Yosemite. If you do not have that, I'll put some links down below where to get that, as well as some tutorials that I've done on Yosemite previously. So you gotta have OS X Yosemite, which is free in the App Store, uh, and a Mac that can run it, obviously. And now you're able to record your iOS screen, whether it be your iPhone or iPad, on directly from QuickTime. So used to, you had to use like Reflector or something like that, uh, but now you can actually go and record it with QuickTime. QuickTime. So as you see here, I got QuickTime open over here. I got a recording over here, which is a new recording. And then I have something that I have recorded previously here. So I'm going to get out of that one. I am not going to save it. And I'm going to bring this guy over here. So we are now uh, in the option to record our screen. So in order to do that, what do you do? So I'm going to close out of that. Open up QuickTime Player, which is this guy here. He looks like a blue circle with a Q all the way around it. Pretty self-explanatory. Once you've opened that application, you then want to make sure your iOS device is plugged into to your Mac. So make sure your iPhone or iPad is plugged into your Mac via USB. All right, so you want to make sure that you have the QuickTime player opened up by clicking on the icon there in your dock, and then go up to File, and then you'll see something that says New Movie Recording. So it's not going to be screen recording. It's not going to be audio. I know it may seem like screen recording, but it's not going to be that, okay? So go to New Movie Recording. Once you've done that, you'll see yourself come up if you have a webcam or like I do, whatever it may be. And then we're going to drag this on down here, and I'm going to show you how to uh, make sure your iOS device is going to be recorded. So in order to do that, click on the little down arrow here right next to the record button and then you'll see your iPhone under camera there so yours will say whatever you've called your iPhone or iPad, whatever it may be, click on that. And then within a matter of seconds, you will then see your iOS device and it'll probably open up iPhoto and iTunes and all that other good stuff too. But you will now see your iOS screen right here. So uh, now you got your record button, you got your audio coming in, probably from your webcam, depending on how you have your input set. And then now anything that I do on my iOS device is now going to be mirrored via QuickTime Player. And I can now record that by just hitting this record button here. And then as you see, the time is increasing, which means it is recording. And it even tells you how big the file is going to be once you export it. So anything that I do, whether I go here, go into email, uh, whether I go here and go into Evernote, or whatever I do on my application, if I go to Safari, whatever it may be, it's going to mimic that on the screen and you can record it via QuickTime Player. So much easier than like using an external application like Reflector or something different like that. You just go up to File, New Movie Recording, and then change it over to your iOS device screen, whatever it is, and then just start recording just like you normally would uh, if you were using an external application. So it does go landscape as well if you have a landscape application, but they're still working out a few bugs, but that is is how you easily record your iOS device screen on your Mac by using a native app, a QuickTime Player, uh, within the new Mac OS X Yosemite. So go check it out. Uh, as always, guys, don't forget to visit my Patreon page and uh, support me uh, as I can continue to create content just like this for you guys. And you'll get some cool stuff from it too. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you in the next one.